this is not the way, as, as your bosses are saying, this is not the way I normally dress, but, but to, to the office, to the, to the government house, but in my previous life, this is the way I dress. So I, I, it's just like coming home today. And I was slightly uh, disappointed when I see all the bosses wearing tights and, <laughs> and trying to get the shoes. And by the way, this is my first, first time ever since I become Prime Minister that I've um, that I'm giving a speech in English without the so-called script, so so I'm trying my best. I'm, I'm kind of nervous at the moment. <laughs> As the boss, when we uh, started off the, the speech by saying that Thailand is open for business, I we, we met it, and uh, I also would like to add that there's no better time to do business in Thailand than now, and, but, but I guess you have known this you know, over 10 years now, and by, by having half of your staff being Thai and half being uh, expat, I think that's a testament to uh, how Thailand has been making progress in terms, of, in terms of trying to attract world-class talent from all over the world, all over the world. Uh, two of my sons are away, one of them work in London, one of them work in New York. It's, as a dad, do I miss that? Of course I miss that. But again, when seeing uh, the smile in all your faces and all the welcoming gesture that you have given, I think I think it, it feels like you know I have the community of my children back here for like 45 minutes before I go back to the <laughs> government house and, and and handle all the all the current issues. Next year will be the biggest ever year for Thailand tourism. I guess you know that. But you have probably have heard many prime ministers saying many, making many promises that obviously they're trying to keep, but whether or not it's become materialized, it's another matter. But I can assure you that next year will be Thailand's biggest ever year for tourism industry. And we are doing everything we can to make sure that the whole journey is smooth and successful. Not just in terms of bringing in all the festivals, like for example, the uh, uh, Formula E is coming, uh, world-class concerts are coming, and uh, many other uh, events are coming. But the team is looking into all the issues. I would actually like to come and visit more or send my team here on a monthly basis to find out what are the potential problem rather than coming and tell you what we are doing because what we are doing you can probably follow that on the government website but as I've said many times to a various member of the press that sometimes the, the voices that you should hear is the complaints from the stakeholders if we don't hear it, then you can't solve it. I was just telling uh, the small group in the meeting earlier today that yesterday we had a meeting at the government house in terms of connectivities. The number of flights coming to Thailand is a major limitation to what we can do. Obviously in the longer term, we can solve that problem. But fourth quarter will be big. We will start off with Chiang Mai, the fourth quarter in Chiang Mai, we will have events every weekend. Uh, uh, Michelin Food Fair is coming between, I think, early early December. There will be Creamfield coming for the uh, Loi Tong and uh, Halloween. And there will be many other things. A startup competition, a hackathon, a coffee fair. There will be many, many things. There will be 12, 13 weeks and during the fourth quarters. Every weekend in Chiang Mai will be, we will be. My concern is, do we have enough flights going there? We had a meeting with Thai International yesterday and also Vietjet yesterday. Uh, they said they had maxed out in terms of the number of planes that they can bring to Thailand. I've asked them to hire, to rent some more planes. They said they can, they can look into that, they're willing to look into that, they think they can do that, but the problem they have is if they rent the plane, the plane need to come with pilot and air hostess as well. 
The problem is pilot is one of the profession that is only reserved for Thais. So the problem is we cannot get rent the plane with the pilot because Swedish pilot cannot work in Thailand. So my Secretary General who is sitting with me today will have to work with the Labor Department to make sure that there's temporary lift for the for the uh, international pilot to be able to work here. There's just a small stuff that we are working on. That's just the, the thing that when they give you an example, I just want you to think along with me on what are the potential issues, problems, obstacles that you're facing in your everyday when you sit in front of your computers. I meant it when I say that I will have my people come here every couple of weeks or every month to listen to you on what are the potential problems, what are the problems you're facing so that we can try to solve it together. I want to stand here and lie to you that I can solve every single problem. But I will certainly be honest. If you tell me what are the problems, I can tell you it cannot be solved. But let's try to find other ways in which we can solve it and try to make sure that your business can move along. Lastly, I hope that your ambitions can match with mine in terms of next year, biggest ever year for tourism. Thank you very much. All right, next up, Mr. Amli would like to uh, give a token of appreciation to His Excellency the Prime Minister of Thailand. So first off, we will take a picture of the box and then we will later unveil it. <laughs>